Radiant Barrier Paint. There's a lot of information and there's a lot of misinformation in the market about Radiant Barrier Paints and sprays. We're going to start with a quote from Mary Edmondson, the Executive Director of the Reflective Insulation Manufacturers Association, known as REMA. There's been a lot of talk lately about the benefits of Radiant Barrier Paint. The problem is, according to the definition set forth by the American Society of Testing and Materials International, there is no such product available. There are low emittance paints which are also known as interior radiation control coatings, IRCCs for short. Radiant heat emit emittance is the least amount of radiant heat that can go through the barrier. According to the ASTMI, foils have to have a minimum emittance of 10% or less. However, if they held the low E paints to the same standard, none would pass. They allowed low E paints to allow 25% of the radiant heat to pass through. REMA decided to run a test on 16 popular coatings that claim to reflect radiant heat. Out of the 16 tested, only 5 products met the qualifications for an IRCC, and those 5 didn't even come close to being considered a radiant barrier. In Mary Edmondson's report, she said, so not only are IRCCs not radiant barriers, but some paints are not even IRCCs, even though they all market them as a radiant barrier. Another concern about sprays and coatings are the toxic fumes. During the installation, homeowners are told to leave the day and also make sure that no pets are at home and keep the air conditioner off all day so the fumes don't spread throughout the house. In fact, during installation, the installers must wear a VOC in order to breathe and not be at risk. Long-term health problems are yet to be seen from this type of product application. Another factor is how the paint is applied. Too light and it doesn't work, too heavy and it doesn't work, it has to be perfect or the results will suffer, meaning your energy savings will also suffer. Most spray companies make fantastic claims about their product stopping 50 to 80 percent of the radiant heat. However, as seen by multiple tests, these claims are false, especially since you can't measure the amount of radiant energy reflected. The spray companies have another trick up their sleeves. During installation, they almost always recommend that you install at least 5 inches of insulation. This sounds reasonable, but they have a reason for this. You will see some energy savings with the added insulation to offset the paint results, but more importantly, by installing the the insulation they allow you to qualify for the federal tax credit because the added insulation qualifies for the federal tax credit not the paint. In closing please be aware of the advertisement claims of the many IRCC companies. Also be knowledgeable about the toxic fumes to both you and your pets. During a fire these paints have been known to put off toxic fumes and may intensify the house fire. Finally, we know that paints may work in a controlled lab environment by professional scientists supervising the thickness and entire application of the paint. However, we all know that paints attics are less than perfect condition. Remember, the minimum emittance standards set by ASTMI are 10% or less. The Energy Improvement Radiant Barrier Shield exceeds this and emits only 3% and has been proven to work in any attic condition. That is why the energy improvement radiant barrier shield will increase the comfort of your home while reducing the energy savings. To receive a free energy savings ebook or learn more energy savings tips, please visit energyimprovements.net or to schedule a free energy consultation, call 800 256 5867.